phone cable. It's in the way, it slips. Get, get off it. Get off it. Good girl. There you go. Isn't that better? Does not appreciate the work I do. Look at her, she just blends into the clothes on the radiator. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday morning. It's the end of the week. I've woken up feeling a little bit rubbish. It's really sad. I have just this ongoing illness. And we don't know what it is yet. I mean, I've had it very mildly for like a year and then suddenly end of August, early September, it started to escalate. So I finally went to go see the doctor at the beginning of October. But overnight I developed tonsillitis symptoms. And so when I went to see them, they were like, I can't tell if this is tonsillitis or potentially glandular fever um, or whether it's just tonsillitis on top of something else. Like, they couldn't tell whether it was all just one illness or whether there were two separate things going on so they told me to wait for my translators to go away and to come back and I think this week is the first week I can I feel like my translators has fully gone away but yeah I haven't booked a doctor's appointment yet to go back and I'm feeling just yeah I woke up this morning just feeling really lethargic and groggy and just uncomfortable you know when you're unwell and it's like, you're not quite like poorly enough to be bedridden, but you just feel uncomfortable and you're like, ah, this is the, this is the start of something not nice. That's how I feel this morning, which isn't fun. Fridays are my busiest day of the week, <laughs> so that's not good for today. Luckily I am working from home, so I can sit in my bed office at least for the afternoon. Um, but yeah, I do have some meetings this morning, which I'm dreading because I just don't have the capacity to pay attention and I'm taking minutes. Luckily they record all of the meetings and I always spend like an hour tidying my notes after. <laughs> anyway, because I'm not very good at taking minutes, I'm new to it. I'm learning. I can deal with it on Monday, but still. Still. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I need to go sit down in my little office and start my day, get myself set up for my first meeting. Appetite problems seem to have come back as well. Last night with dinner, I couldn't eat the full thing. I kind of had about two thirds of it and then I suddenly felt really like I couldn't stomach anymore. It wasn't like a massive portion, but it probably was more than what I've been eating for the past few weeks. So that's a shame that I couldn't stomach that. Yeah, and I feel like it's continued over into this morning. <sighs> So I'm gonna have to go force feed myself another cereal bar. I've also got spots coming in, which is fantastic. I'm going to put that down to the fact that because my appetite's been bad, the only thing I've been able to stomach is like starchy, carbohydrate food or like sweets and chocolate, which is obviously not very good for your skin. Oh, I'm also just super dehydrated all the time at the moment. It's really bad. So I'm gonna go get some water and a cereal bar and set myself up for the day and hopefully I will catch up with you on my lunch break if I'm lucky enough to get a proper one today. I will try and force myself to have a proper one today just because of how I'm feeling. I don't want to make myself worse by not giving myself adequate rest. You know? You know how it is. So yeah, let's get this last day of the week over and done with everybody. Let's do it. She's very undecided this afternoon. Huh? Good. Afternoon, everybody. Let me adjust to the decent lighting. My God, I look like a train wreck today. <laughs> ah, I know, I've got to go, I know. It's lunchtime. I've just had my lunch. My meeting overran by 45 minutes, which means that 15 minutes of that cut into my lunch break. Uh, it's probably more like 20 minutes actually, to be fair. So I'm just coming off lunch now and I have to go back now because I have a meeting after lunch. And I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen. It's an informal meeting. I've done all my minute taking for the day today. Um, last meeting was a bit stressful because there were some technical difficulties and there's a chance that the recording of the meeting might not be saved, which screws me over quite a lot Monday morning. But um, <laughs> hopefully that's not the case. But yeah, this is an informal meeting with my team that I need to hop on to right now. I'm just, the energy today, it's gone. Like I was saying, Friday is my busiest day of the week and it completely wipes me out. I am very glad that I do it from home because um, I think I would be asleep at my desk at work if I were in the office. But yeah, it's been a productive day. I've been very busy. Things have 
apart from that technical issue, things have mostly gone well this morning, which is good. I've been ticking a lot of things off my to-do list, which is good. Now I'm about to go add a bajillion more things onto my to-do list uh, and hopefully try and get them done either by the end of today or for Monday, Tuesday next week. And I just thought I'd pick up the camera to update you because I really need to go do that right now. I need to pop to the loo before I hop on the meeting. Oh my goodness. Adulthood is just emails and meetings. I'm learning. That's all it is. Sorry, Chris is responding to my messages. Apparently Taylor Swift is doing a short film for All Too Well, which is like her most epic ballad and it's starring Sadie Sink and Dylan O'Brien and that made me really excited because I love both of them. It's a very good triage there. Right, I need to go. <laughs> I need to go. I need to pop to the loop. But technically, I can, I'm not going to leave 15 minutes early, but technically I can give myself an extra 15 minutes of break when I next get the chance to. <laughs> <laughs> because I only took 45 minutes for lunch and I'm supposed to take an hour. Yeah. Good evening everyone, can you hear that in the background? You probably can't. It's fire, it's going on, it's bonfire night tonight, happy bonfire night. Um, we're not doing anything for bonfire night this year. Are we? I mean it's never really a big celebration for me, really. I do generally like to go out to the firework display that our town normally does. I don't know what the situation is of whether our town's doing something or not. Are you sitting on my keypad? You threw up on my laptop yesterday and now you're just sitting on my open laptop. Can I... can I push you off please? Excuse me. <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> but yeah, lots of fireworks going on nearby and Slippers is okay. Um, she's actually very good with fireworks. I think unless they're insanely close as in like one of our very next door neighbours does it. Um, she'll only panic a little bit, honestly. She's she's good. She's a good cat when it comes to fireworks. Obviously, she's inside. She doesn't really go outside anymore anyway, the cat flap's locked, but like, that's the only precaution we really take with slippers on, on bonfire night because she's She's just very good with fireworks. She's very good with disturbance. It is Friday, we've finished the end of the work week. I'm feeling very satisfied with my with my week this week. I feel like I got all of the jobs I needed to get done today. I've organized a nice to-do list for myself for next week. That meeting I was worried about being recorded has been recorded. It's it's there. I haven't watched it back yet, but the video is like saved where it should be, so I'll be dealing with that on Monday. I just feel like Today, I kind of finished work feeling a bit more settled into my new job. I've had a lot of new person syndrome over the past couple of weeks, like I've been saying in my videos, um, where I've just felt like, you know, I've wanted to do beyond my capacity, if that makes sense. Like, I've wanted to um, take on more responsibility and do more, but ultimately I only know so much um, and can only be taught things at a certain period of time because lots of people are busy and uh, sometimes things are just gradual etc etc. Today I kind of came to the end of the day and I just felt really good about myself because I was I'm finally in a position where I'm like taking things on my own going back to my manager for proofing and then going back out again and doing things on my own and it's yeah it's nice I'm slowly coming into coming into the position which feels good it's positive it's nice and it feels like I feel like for the past few weeks I've not been able to focus on anything else other than this new job. I'm starting to feel like I can do more than that now, slowly. Not a lot more, <laughs> but I feel like, you know, over the next couple of weeks I'm finally going to be able to be able to balance my personal life back into everything again, which would be nice because, you know, I've got a lot of stuff that I want to do and uh, I need to kind of have a mental calendar of what I'm doing with these things. And yeah, kind of need to get that work-life balance sorted. Right now, it's my dad looking for some pots and pans because he's cooking dinner. It's very graceful. It's louder than the fireworks. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, spots on my chin have really come through today, uh, probably in, in connection to my 
diet for the past couple of weeks with my appetite problems. I've pretty much only been eating unhealthy food because it's all I've been able to stomach. And I ran out of spot cream last week. So this is the, this is the result for that. I think I'm gonna do a face mask just for the sake of doing something. I mean, I do obviously wash my face every day, but this clearly, it clearly needs a little extra something, something to <laughs> soothe whatever's going on down there. And that's, that's gonna be my evening. I won't end the vlog just yet. Uh, Chris is out with friends from work this evening, so he won't be back until super late. I don't have to edit this vlog tonight because it's the weekend tomorrow. Love that. Love that when it happens. I'll, I'll end you before I go to bed rather than before having dinner. I'm gonna go do a face mask now. I sat down here because cause that's where you were. Aww. Good evening everybody, it is quite a bit later. I'm going to go to bed and end the vlog here now for you. Bit of dirt on my bed. It's been a good day today, I've had a good day. I've had a good week really. Very looking forward to the weekend, looking forward to sleeping in tomorrow and just, you know, thinking about not work stuff, which is nice. Just had my dinner. We, wa we started watching um, Hollington Drive which is a B, uh, not BBC, is it BBC drama? No, it's an ITV drama. I'm not really a big fan of the gritty British crime shows. Um, it's just not my genre. I find the acting to be the same across every single one of them. The storylines are interesting, but like, I don't know. I just can't get into them because I get really taken out of it by the, by the acting being the same in every single one. Go up here then. Come on. <laughs> so funny. You're so funny, aren't you? But I, I quite like this one actually. I quite like this crime drama. It's more stressful I feel like than ones that I've watched in the past. I think because there are kids involved. I always find that crime stories involving kids tend to be more stressful to watch. Now I'm going to get ready to go to bed. Chris is still out with his friends from work. Uh, so I'm gonna be chilling with this one. Yeah, should we have a nice evening in? Yeah, I don't have to worry about editing you because it's the weekend so I can do it tomorrow morning. It's great, I love that. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching everyone. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Is it a nice little push? Thanks very much for watching. Bye!